spoiled Prince Harry comes across as intensely envious of Prince William's happiness and popularity, says royal commentator Tom Bauer, in an article that paints Harry as deeply unhappy. There have long been reports of feuding between the heir and the spare, however, tensions came to a head when younger Prince Harry quit the royal family and moved to Montecito, California with his wife Meghan Markle in 2020. Since then Harry has regularly attacked his brother, father, and even the Queen and the late Duke of Edinburgh, sending poisonous missiles from the safety of his Californian home, despite signing multi-million deals with Netflix and Spotify. Bauer lambasts the prince, saying the most recent of these missiles implicitly accuses Prince Harry's father, Prince Charles, of being reckless after it came to light that Prince Charles's closest aid offered to honor a Saudi billionaire who promised to donate millions of pounds to royal charities. This accusation could perhaps be seen as a jealous lash out as it follows a new episode of Prince William's podcast on mental health, a cause both brothers are passionate about. Prince Harry has reportedly made Prince William shift his old PR tactics with his precedent-setting mold. The topic arose once the Palace Confidential host, Jessica King asked royal expert Rebecca English, We all know about Harry's broadcasting on these sorts of topics. Do you think William is quite influenced by everything that his brother does? Ms. English replied by admitting, good question. Something slightly difficult to quantify because how much is it of William just getting a bit older and getting a bit more daring and a bit more comfortable in the public eye and kind of getting out of his comfort zone? But I think you do have to give Harry credit where credit's due. He was quite a trailblazer in this field, doing something a little bit different, more personal that was kind of outside of the traditional royal role. William and Kate Actually their social media manager they have now was Harry and Meghan's social media manager, and I think you can definitely see that in some of the social media posts they do. Before concluding she also added, so I think you have to credit Harry with being some of the inspiration but this is also about William feeling comfortable to slightly break out of the mold a bit as well. Other missiles include Prince Harry describing his mental torture on Apple TV and backing up the Duchess of Sussex's claim that the royal family denied their son Archie a title and protection due to him being mixed race on that Oprah Winfrey interview. Meanwhile, second in line to the throne Prince William and his wife Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, have continued to enjoy the support and adoration of Britons across the UK as they champion mental health and environmental charities and initiatives, and play happy families with their three adorable children. Bauer also argues Harry has exploited his unwillingness to be reconciled with his mother's death. Harry routinely talks about his grief over the death of his mother, and speaking on the Armchair Expert podcast in May this year, Harry said he left the royal family because of what it did to his mum, Princess Diana. The Duke of Sussex discussed his own struggles growing up in the spotlight and said in his early 20s he would grin and bear it, but knew he didn't want the role for himself. He said he would think, I don't want to be here. I don't want to be doing this, just look what it did to my mom. How am I ever going to settle down and have a wife and family when I know it's going to happen again? I've seen behind the curtain. Harry also recalled how after seeking therapy for his mental health struggles, he felt a bubble was burst and his head was out of the sand, 